everyone, this is Cappuccino, I'm Rusha Nadeem and today's video is not just a regular recipe tutorial, it's basically a cake decorating and cake sculpting tutorial in which no cake will be wasted. So we will be sculpting a cake, a car cake and the best plus point is no cake will be wasted. So stay tuned. So starting with a cake board and sparing a little bit of any of your favorite frosting which you are using for this cake. I'm just using a my favorite strawberry whipped frosting here and placing one of my 9 inch round vanilla perfect vanilla sponge on it and you can get the recipe link in the description box below so, um, that's a video of a perfect pineapple cake in which I demonstrated how to bake this gorgeous beauty do watch that video and do give this sponge a try it's really good so and now of course we will be smearing some of our frosting and as you can see my frosting is a bit thicker that's how I whipped it up because I wanted it to be thicker and more stable in the middle layer and uh, later on I will thin it down and I will tell you when you need to thin it down so that is a bit of a sort of a thicker frosting and it's whipped of course you need to use a whipped frosting whenever working with a sponge because sponges are delicate and mostly um, most of the time sponges are not actually used for sculpting sculpted cakes um, sort of hard cakes like mud cakes or butter cakes are used or pound cakes for that sort of sculpting stuff because um, it's really difficult to handle a sponge cake because it's extremely delicate but you can sculpt it if you have got a bit of guts and this uh, this sculpting is super super simple so doesn't need too much of cutting and all so you can do this with a sponge cake as well so this will taste good as well as look good now just crumb coat the whole cake like all those two layers and then crumb coat you, and now comes the sculpting part of course so we will be cutting around uh, like two edges sort of one fourth on each side of a cake let me mark it for you so it's easier and so we'll use a serrated knife or a bread knife because that works like the best and cut the one fourth side from each parallel to each other and um, let me smear some more frosting in the middle because we will be using it as a layer and we will be building it up again so let me show you the layer because this is really looking really nice can you see that this is really satisfying right so now the placement is like pick up this one part of this one fourth cut part and then place the cut it seam down seam side down and uh, doing the same with the another one but using half of the of the piece or half of one layer of the cake and reserving the other one for the rest of the step no cake will be wasted <laughs> trust me now level it up and if there is any of the extra so you can slightly just shave it a bit just to make it nice and uniform so that's the only cake chunk which we wasted just an inch of piece which you can eat and taste by the way fill in any gaps and um, now remember that remaining quarter half pot just smear some more frosting on it and attach it to one side to the front of uh, your cake and you can already see it looks like a car now <laughs> so that was pretty simple anybody can make this car cake now it's time to finally crumb coat it once again and don't worry about the you know the cake board we'll clean it up with a damp paper towel in the end so all the frosting will be cleaned up and you can see doesn't need to be too much finished but you can do it like this so it looks like a car still right and now the decoration part so just melt down some of your chocolate dark chocolate compound will be ideal for this step because that's easier to use or you can even use real chocolate here melt it down spread it on uh, a wax paper let it um, you know set at room temperature only and then cut it into your required pieces so we will be using it for our uh, front and back and side mirrors and all so place them 
can simply eyeball them or you can use a skewer or anything like a scale or something straight just to align them perfectly parallel to each other and once you're happy with the placement I've also placed a little like a square on top because we will be writing a letter like a number on top of a birthday boy <laughs> alright so and now it's time to finally frost it so um, dye your frosting in any of your favorite color I'm using fuchsia here because that looks really nice and uh, fill the frosting in a bag fitted with a close star tip which is also called a 2d nozzle and I'm popping in some side mirrors which have made just with melted white chocolate and a wooden skewer and um, just pipe like cute little stars on the whole cake just cover the whole cake with these little stars using a um, dotting motion sit on the floor uh, get high up you know you need to adjust yourself to you know finalize a, a final nice well finished product so that's what I did and now these are sort of I meant melted down some white chocolate and shaped it in form of some front mirrors like a, a head lights and the tail lights all right and these are some oreo cookies which we are using to make the tires or the wheels of the car i've also used a melted dark chocolate to make these in one of my video i mean like four years back this was like four years back and this is like now in 2018 so pretty you know i've improved i think uh, so um if you like this video, subscribe for new video every Friday and as always, eat, drink and think. Bye guys.